feature number six, uh, part number two, we'll talk about risk assessment questionnaire uh, template. This is a project risk assessment template. Here we'll put company logo, company name, then uh, project name prepared by Andy. It's contained two sections, section number one. and section number two section number one risk assessment questionnaire section number two typical high risk problems and uh, response action before we start we have to talk how how we will fill the two section Regarding section number one of this template, this part to identify risk that will impact the project and the, the level of uh, threat that they pose to the project success. In this section, characteristics are grouped in typical categories for project risk, high, medium, and low risk items are assigned to descriptions of each project characteristics. This list of the project characteristics is not exhaustive and is in intended to provide a starting point only. Customize the questionnaire by adding to the list specific risk characteristics or criteria. Um, to complete the questionnaire for each characteristic, choose the phrase that best uh, depicts your project at time of assessment. Be certain to also complete the project planning risk assessment checklist. To complete questionnaire, and the checklist will identify the project's risk factors. The result from the completed questionnaire and the checklist should be used as a guidelines. There may be other factors um, that will lower or raise the risk level. For instance, a large uh, project carries with uh, a inherently uh, higher risk. This risk may be reduced if an experienced project manager leads the project. Having many high risk characteristics doesn't necessarily mean the project will fail. However, it does mean that a plan must be put into place to address each potential high risk factor. As we see here, the section number one, these are characteristics. Here is the low risk, here is the medium risk, here uh, the high risk. We'll go one by one. Number one is the scope. The scope of the project is well defined, understood. This means low risk so what defined but subject to change this mean medium risk poorly defined and or likely to change this mean we have high risk the business requirements of the projects are understood and straightforward this mean low risk understood but very complex or straightforward but not well defined this mean medium risk very view or very complex this mean high risk this will generate high risk if this is a case if this business requirement is not it's complex and uh, not really defined or understood by uh, the team 
it can generate high risk and make the project fail the system availability requirements included window windows of availability and downtime this means low risk availability on continuous basis this means uh, high risk the total estimate for two hours are less than 1000 low risk between 1000 5000 medium greater than 5000 this means high risk more more hours this mean more problems uh, more risk the quality of current data is well defined and symbol convert low well defined but complex or symbol to convert but not well defined medium risk poor or complex convert this mean high risk if the package implementation no or minimal customize is needed low risk moderate customize is in is needed uh, medium risk heavy customization is needed this mean high risk so a every item if it's going to be complex or huge or heavy this means it's generate more risk if the project is smaller is simple is defined in good situation this means it will be low risk in between if you find between understood but well defined but moderate customize is needed this means it's medium risk this regarding scope regarding the schedule are the project major milestone and operation dates flexible may be established by the project team and the recipient personnel this means low risk firm may be established and the dates may affect the business this medium risk fix it if the schedule is fixed dates and we have to be on these dates this mean more complex this mean more high risk if we didn't meet the date specific specific operational committee comi commitment or legal requirements very on the team control uh, project duration is estimated as more less project time less risk if less than three months less risk from 3 to 12 this mean medium risk more than 12 months it will be more risk so high risk uh, budget the project budget is uh, based of our use of proving successful uh, cost estimation process used by personnel with the estimation experience if he is proving estimation process with experienced personnel this means low risk some experience or process medium no estimates not established by person with an any experience this means sure we are taking a uh, high risk project funding match exceeds the estimated cost that mean we can cover the project uh, cost or no and this is stable is fund is greater than the estimation so we can cover uh, any risk regarding the cost it will be low risk fund is generally adequate and expected to remain relatively stable this means it can cover but if you see cannot cover this medium risk if the funding is less this mean high risk uh, regarding project linkage the project dependencies on linkage uh, projects code based be described strictly dependent can be successful without linkage project deliverable is less risk some are dependent with out linkage with deliverables, deliverables schedule delays possible. Low medium risk, high dependent, cannot 
the series of deliverables from linkage project. This means we have higher risk human resources of project manager experience and the train training if he's a, has experience to to be low risk recent success in managing project not similar to have uh, actual experience medium he doesn't have any experience is this i mean higher risk uh, Describes experience project personnel with the tools and techniques. Experienced and techniques. This will be low formal training in use tools uh, or uh, no practical experience. Medium, no formal training given. It will generate sure high risk. The project team located together, low risk. Disparated, multiplied sites. Not in the same, so communication will be uh, more difficult and taking more time to generate high risk. Management, senior leadership support. If the project sponsor uh, is identified, committed, and uh, supporting the project, this means the risk identified but not in those ethics. This mean uh, less support. This mean uh, medium risk. Not identified. This mean higher risk. Other business organization impact and so on. You can read in the form uh, each question and the answer. And based on the answer, you can find it's low or medium or high risk. Um, take one here the number of department this will affect one or two low risk three or four medium more than five it generate the same um, more communication time um, more people mean more risk and the more problems regarding the technology Technology being uh, utilized consists of a mature existing software, hardware, language, database, is okay. Low risk, emerging, uh, medium risk, leading edge, new software, so nobody has a training, they need training, new hardware, new language, database or tools, this need more training, need more time and it will generate high risk if you even get the subcontractor to do something and so on if you talk about performance objective uh, will describe and reasonable or unclear uh, unrealistic this will generate high risk Two important point project management, planning issue, and the change management quality assurance. Evaluation of project management risks. Enter overall assignment project management risk from uh, the project management risk assessment checklist, as we saw uh, in previous uh, picture. The project is will plan it and will be carried out manner consists with organization project management methodologies generate low risk project plans and the process are reasonable and mostly complete but there are some issues that should be addressed medium risk planning for this project is inconsistent uh, incomplete or in other ways a poor quality this will generate low a uh, high risk external for example vendor legal environmental regulator uh, regulate regulatory uh, government if the package implementation vendor is familiar in this market low risk vendor is new to this market sure to generate high risk our contractor uh, require and commit 
committed to the project. No contractor are not required. This low risk is some contractor for example less than fifty percent. Medium risk is project to be satisfied over fifty percent. This will generate high risk. And there, if you need to add any other uh, items or questions. And based on the answer for each question, you will know the risk, high or medium or low. Section number two, uh, typical high risk problem or response action. Use section number two of this template to analyze, identify risks and plan appropriate response. As we see, here we have for example this risk and this is the answer if the package implementation uh, vendor is a new to this market what is the solution for this risk or how we can face uh, this risk we will come to discuss here point by point some some points example and you can manage this with your project and start filling uh, this form. As we said earlier, uh, warning signs and examples of problems that may result from certain types of high risk are listed uh, alongside examples of activities that may be undertaken to uh, mitigate or respond to each risk. For each high risk factor identified in section number one, um, create a response plan in the risk response plan document to ensure that the risk is mitigated and doesn't impact the project surface. Consider the example activities in section number two as examples of potential response. The project team may suggest additional response action actions after creation of response plan for all the high risk factors. Uh, look at the medium level risks to determine whether the impact is serving enough to warrant an entry into the risk response plan as well. If so, create entries in a risk response plan for the medium risk also. Uh, low risk factors may be considered assumption that is there is a potential for problems, but because the risk is low, you are assuming that is con the condition will not occur. The risk response plan is used to throw out the project to monitor and control uh, risks. Let's take example how to fill the, the four. For the typical high risk problem response, for example, the scope of project is poorly identified. Hard to provide sound estimate. May spend uh, time and cost areas out of scope. Hard to gather consist requirement difficult to write project definition and work plan hard to invoke scope changes procedures project deliverables and the project deliverable are poorly defined the risk response action which we should talk focus on firm up scope in the planning process define various component of scope such as what department are affected, what deliverables are expected, what type of information currently defines uh, what is out of scope. Ask project responsible to make decision on conflicts, scope statement, document all scope assumptions, use picture or diagram to communicate scope and options, establish firm scope and distribute scope statement. Don't begin project until scope is clear. Uh, we'll stop there for this lecture and we'll complete the uh, next uh, lecture.